Hey guys, so today we're going to be installing an electric start kit on the John Deere trail fire. This will work for a trail fire, a sport fire, and a liquefier. A liquefier, you'll have to cut some notches in your battery box. There's an extra frame brace in there, and you'd uh, cut some extra notches right there just to fit it in there. Um, but first step you're going to do is take and get your headlight cable out and basically out from under the tie rod and this is assuming your motor and muffler are all out of the way first that all needs to come out well your your motor doesn't but your muffler needs to come out for sure motor can stay um, and then the next thing you're gonna do and I already did this there's this little hold down uh, you're going to want to take and uh, cold chisel the rivet off you still want to keep the bottom side of the rivet if you can because that holds on your plastic panel but you just need this clip to come off because he's in the way okay so next thing you're going to want to do is put your battery box in there you're going to want to push it as far to the right as possible and then make sure you're up against this frame rail here in the back and then when you were here, you're going to want to check and make sure that your steering still turns. You can see mine still kind of moves. So you kind of, well, I have to kind of take and bend this back a little bit, but it shouldn't be too much. Um, then next, what you're going to want to do is take a, a center punch and punch and drill out all of these holes. There's four of them back here. I don't really know how you're going to get that to this one. Um, I don't plan on doing that one. Three out of four is still a passing grade. Also at this point, before you drill your holes, you're gonna wanna make sure your hood closes first. Um, shouldn't be an issue because these boxes are designed for it, but that's just something to keep in mind. All right, holes are drilled. You can see them in there. All right, then next you're gonna wanna take your hardware and basically bolt it down. Um, not really any special bolts here, they're just quarter inch, um, use washers and lock washers. Alright, so next thing you can see that I did was I put the electrical stuff on the box. You've got your, you've got your solenoid here, a circuit breaker, there's a rectifier, which is actually like this part right here. Um, this is off of a used, it's a used kit off of a sled, so I just got all the wiring and stuff. Um, put that on there, and then the next thing to do would be to, if you can see it in there, this part, this one goes onto the positive of your battery, this one goes onto the negative. You can see that I took and fed the, let's see, this would be the lights, or no, this would be your wiring harness up to the uh, key switch, and then this one is your lights, and this ground will get fed through there too. Um, both of those I put going underneath the engine, that's where the, you can't really see it, but they pop out in there. Um, That, that's where the factory light ran. So I, since I had my engine out, I put them under there. Otherwise you could just run it underneath, like right here, it wouldn't really hurt anything there. 
So, after you've hooked up all the stuff on your battery box, the next thing you're gonna do is come up under your dash and you're gonna start hooking up wires. Uh, you're going to have this five pin uh, connector here. Off of that is going to be this black and white wire. Uh, you hook that into the wire that came off of your key switch here. So it'll come off the key switch and hook right into this connector here. They just press right together. Uh, you'll also have this brown wire here. That's going to connect into one of these three connectors right there. Uh, it should go in either one of those two will be fine. That's your accessory ports. And those come straight off of, well, it's going to be these yellow wires that hook into your uh, speedo lights. And then your key switch is going to be plugged straight into this five pin right here. Um, but something interesting happened uh, when I plugged mine in and I went to bump it over, it actually turns out somebody took all of these little pins out and switched them around. I don't know why they did that, but when you turn the key, uh, the red wire right here gets really hot and trips the circuit breaker. So I've got a feeling it's just dead shorting. And I looked at my service manual here. It's got the, you can see the pin diagram there. It's got A, B, C, D, and E uh, on these pins here. And I looked with that, with the wiring diagram, none of these wires are in the right spot. So it's just dead shorting it straight through the key on mine, which, you know, it's a 40 year old kit. I said it was used before. Uh, in that period of time, who knows what happened to them. Uh, so I guess I'll s get back here when I switch these around and we'll see if it actually fires. Okay, we're back and it's the next day. As you can see, I've taken and switched all of the connector wires around. I also put the key switch on in there. I have taken the old key switch out. It's just this little, um, uh, this little collar comes, screws off and then it falls out. Uh, you should have already unplugged that. And then this one will, you're gonna have to take and file the hole out a little bit. Uh, Cause this, the diameter of this, uh, key chamber is a little bit bigger so uh use a f rat tail file just to oh <laughs> just to get it to fit in there and um that's pretty much it once you do that uh you'll need to hook your battery up like i have here already there you go uh it is a u1 group uh, basically just a regular lawnmower battery, which is kind of weird for these ones. As you can see, it works. Oh yeah, one more thing. You need to have the high quality battery hold downs. Those are the Harbor Freight variety. I put two on there for extra security. Uh, you don't really want to have that thing flying out of there when you're going off sick jumps and whatnot with this bad boy. All right guys, well here it is all buttoned up. Um, you can see, I mean, it works. It looks pretty nice in there with that, uh, new shiny key. Um, still got a couple things left to do to it and I'll get some more videos out, but, um, I hope this was helpful for anybody looking for electric start for their sled. Um, I guess thanks for watching and stay tuned.